Ooh, a little extra ball speed on that one. Oh man, but then it didn't. That's, your carry numbers are kind of ridiculous with this club. 2.3 yard variance up and down. I mean, that's just right. absolutely that's, awesome. Yeah, these four right here are, you could almost throw a blanket over those. Today is a fun one. We've got the new Ping G430 hybrid and we have Kevin Kraft here to test it out. He'll hit some shots on track, man. We'll tell you everything you need to know about the technology, the specs, everything with a G430 hybrid. Golfers, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you give this video a like, and you tell us in the comments what you think of the new G430 hybrid. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the second swing golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, master club fitter, professional player from the Columbia store. But today we're in Twin Cities, getting buried in snow. Yes. Uh, on the plus side, we have a new club, G430 yes. hybrid. Uh, really exciting series in general from Pim, yes. the G430 yep. series, but the hybrid in particular, it's a unique one. We've got the five hybrid today to test. Um, but I, what do we think here? First impressions, because it, it's got a lot of the technology of the fairy wood packed in. Mm -hmm. um, and the the hybrid is kind of just, it's just a smooshed version of that. I, I, I see this little ridge here on the, on the, on the crown. Um, tell me what you, just tell me what your first impressions are with that. Um, well, we have carbon fly wrap. Yep. Right, so mm -hmm. it has to connect to the yeah. the metal portion of mm -hmm. the of the head at some point. Yeah, that's that's where that's at. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, it's it's a little bit noticeable, but I don't think that really throws anything off. No, um, it's it's good looking. It's clean. No turbulators again. Uh, this with the 430, we didn't have it on the 425. Right. So um, they have I'm excited they, about so that. I know they've had turbulators on the fairy woods in the past. They, they did do hybrids too? They yeah, did the hybrids, the hybrids too? They did. did as well. Okay, yeah. so they've yep. taken that off and it, yep. it does look clean. Yes. Like, you know, depending on where you're at with that, but yeah. it's like, it is a clean club. It is a very clean club. Uh, I think it looks really good. Um, five is an area which I'm, kind of thinking about okay. messing around with so All this right. is kind of fortuitous for me okay um, you know so i'm looking forward to uh to giving this a whirl it it looks good uh smells like forgiveness okay yeah so yeah, yeah. i think that's a common smell throughout the it g430 is. It's, it's, line it, it, it is the the yeah. smell of ping yeah. yes exactly <laughs> uh we also should mention uh spin consistency yep um because that's in the fairy woods and the hybrids and the g430 max driver yes, this year but a little bit lower loft down here at the bottom of the face. Correct. They've kind of gradually decreased that loft to improve performance on those miss hits so it's not yep. ballooning and that spin doesn't increase by a ton. It still maintains a little bit lower, give you better performance because I think a, a common miss out there for amateur golfers is that maybe thin face yeah. um, kind of shot from the fairway or rough with a hybrid. Fairway woods and hybrids specifically, you're, the, the number one miss is is a little bit low. So mm -hmm. they've done a good job of kind of reshaping the way the, the sweet spot works and mm -hmm. taking a little bit of that loft off there so that it, you don't have to be yep. really as penalized on that little bit of a miss hit. Yep, yeah. and then the, the face wrap technology wraps around into the kind of the sole, around the yes. edges, increased flexing, explosiveness, ball speed across the face. Um, I like been that great. word explosiveness. Explosiveness. I think we're going to see that with the G430 hybrid today. Um, the also cool thing as a fitter, I'm sure you're excited about all the different lofts. Yep. So a two hybrid through seven hybrid. Yes. And to, to rattle us off here, with 17 degrees in the two, 19 in the three, then 22, 26, 30, and 34. Yep. Uh, so, and I think as these higher lofted kind of hybrids and even fairy was to become more popular, you're gonna see a lot of players throwing six hybrids, seven hybrids Absolutely. into the bag uh, yep. because you just get more loft, you can just get more stopping power. Yep. And so to see it ping off for that many, I think is really cool and a step forward, I think for golfers. As a fitter, you know, it's all about covering the gaps, right? No matter whether it's somebody with a really slow club head speed or somebody with a really fast club head speed, we have to be able to manage, you know, all the yardages mm -hmm. and we wanna have a nice gapping mm -hmm. throughout. So, you know, having more options in terms of hybrid lofts and fairway wood lofts just makes it that much easier to, to man, manage those gaps. And then the, the hosel, another fitting element for you guys. Directly tuning 2.0, yep. eight settings. Love it. You guys can get really creative with that. So yep. there's a lot of technology in this hybrid. Um, I think the next part we have to see is you to see, shots. See how she works. Okay, cool. All right, Mr. Kraft, you've got the G430 hybrid in your hand and tell me first we, we gotta 
do step number one here, which is the uh, feedback at address. So, yeah. Um, pretty clean looking. Looks good. It's uh, you know, it's five hybrids, so I'm seeing a lot of the face. Yeah. You know, that's you're gonna have that on yeah. a little bit higher. 26 degrees aloft, yep. you're gonna see it. Yep. Uh, it's a very clean looking golf club. I mean, it looks like the next progression on from the 425. Yeah. Like it looks exactly like I would expect it mm -hmm. to look from Ping. Um, setting it down, you know, it sits really square. And yeah. I think that's really important for hybrids. Hybrids have had that kind of long history of, of turning left on people. Right. So in the hybrid category, especially having something that looks, looks shut can be a little bit a little off-putting for yeah. people, so uh, especially me. Um, I don't want to. I don't really like the look of a closed club face. Yeah. I'm pretty sensitive to mm -hmm. that. So this looks very clean, very easy. Um, it looks fun. Looks a little fun. bit of uh, you know confidence, inspiring maybe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, with the reason we go to hybrids in the first place is to replace irons that we struggle with, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we want to have something there that we're looking yeah. down at and thinking, oh, okay, I've got this shot over water, but I don't have to panic because I've got a golf club yeah. that's going to make life a little bit easier mm -hmm. for me. Sure. So, yeah. Um, so with this one, you know, I'm, I'm considering messing around with the five hybrid. So I was a little bit fortunate today that okay. that's, that's what we have to test. Um, I'm looking for a golf club that's going to fly maybe one in the 195 to 200 range, probably, okay. uh, for me to be able to to really consider putting, putting it in bag. my own yeah. bag. So let's see what we can All get right. here. Yeah. Ooh, first shot. Two oh nine. Okay. Nuked it. She's long. Six hybrid for me, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Easy they, now. <laughs> I mean, that might be a, that might be a bridge too far. Yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty radical move, I would imagine, for you. But I'll the shot itself what, is a good shot. I will tell you what, though. Um, I tend through time. I have tended to spin hybrids a lot. Yeah. So seeing 123 feet in the air. Okay, I like trajectory. Trajectory is your friend, right? So that with a, a little bit lower spin rate for me is actually awesome. Landing angles at 49 okay. degrees there. That's I'm, deep enough. I'm for really, sure. really comfortable with those numbers. Yeah. Let's see if I can straighten it out a little bit, but. Ooh, a little bit hotter off the face there. Oh, yeah. 210. Okay, All right. But it didn't so, actually like, the spin went up a little bit, so it yeah. didn't really like. You had more ball speed, but it didn't really take off super far. Yeah, exactly. On you either. I like, I like that one. Felt good. I like seeing the ball speed jump up a little bit there. Mm -hmm. um, height stayed very similar. Yes. Uh, yes. What was the spin on the first one? Forty-one like All right, fifty so or something. A couple hundred so, RPM. Yeah. That's yeah, not, still in not, the not bad. spin consistency range. Your your first shot height two hundred twenty-three. Yeah. yeah. That was hundred twenty-one. Twenty-one. Like so, that. It's good. If you get one twenty-two here, uh, that'd be the best. <laughs> I'll I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Oh, 116. Darn. Man, just didn't get her Gosh, up there. Unbelievable. That's, <laughs> you, gotta, you have a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, all right, so we're seeing that spin start to climb a little bit, but not, not in a bad way. Oh, no, no, not, not at all. Not at all. Uh, what I'm liking, though, is the variance in distance. It's the same thing. Staying right on, same right thing. on top. And that's when you're talking about a golf club that you're really going to be relying on coming into the green, yep. absolutely huge yep. to have that consistency. Mm -hmm. So, so far it's looking really pretty good. There's another one. Okay. A little more spin that time. Might yeah. have been a little lower on the face. Well, we can find out, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Ah. You know what that is? Spin since Spin. <laughs> there we go. Wait, wait. Spin City? That's that's spin. I spent a year calling it Spin City because I just can't <laughs> seem to get it off my tongue. Spin Spinsistency. Yes. There we go. There it is. <laughs> Spinsistency means hitting it that low on the face and it jumping only 350 RPM. Yeah. Roughly. Roughly. That's pretty darn good. Good stuff. All right, one more. Let's see if we can get out of this thing. Ooh, a little extra ball speed on that one. Oh man, but then it didn't. That's your carry numbers are kind of ridiculous with this club because here's our shots: 208.7, 210.1, 208 again, 
Then here's the, the low face shot that yep. you dropped a, yep, just a, a massive total of four <laughs> yards. And then 207.4. Yeah. And the spin of the last two shots is more or less the same. Yeah. Despite maybe a difference in strike location. Yeah. That's, I mean, talk to me about what you see initially there. Um, you know, I love seeing 307 RPM variants on a, on a hybrid. Yeah. Uh, especially with a low shot in there, you know, something that's going to come yeah. off the, off the bottom, uh, landing angles are really, really good. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2.3 yard variants up and down. I mean, that's just right. absolutely that's, awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm actually excited now. I'm, I, I'm I, trying to build some suspense to see the, the map. The dispersion map. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's probably uh it's probably pretty good, right? It should this one should be pretty yeah. decent. Yeah, there we go. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, this first one, one to the right. First one was a little bit of a hanger. It's still on the right side of the green. I like to use here to here as yeah, my the, green the, with the kind of the fifteen I, yard. Yep, yep. I love that though. I think this is this is really very yeah, good. Yeah, these four right here are you could almost almost throw a blanket over those. Yeah. Uh those are pretty darn good. And just the consistency. I mean, you're talking about the same numbers almost every time yeah. here. So I guess to let's go back on what you had said about in your own bag. Yeah. This, let's say you could add a little bit of loft maybe to that club. It so would probably drop you in that range a little bit better. The one thing I would do different, I have all my clubs except for my driver are cut down a half inch short. Okay. So that might take a little bit of speed away. Gotcha. That might pull me back a few yards. I'm not sure it's going to pull me back, you know, 10 yards. Right. Um, but you know, that this is this, <laughs> this five hybrid yeah. goes about where kind of close to where my four hybrid goes in, okay. in my bag right now. And yeah. I will say this, this golf club compared to the 425, this is an absolute killer. This thing is yeah. great. The feel is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Like, I've not been overly thrilled with the ping hybrids in the past because I've tended to really spin them a lot. Yeah. So they weren't as useful. Right. This thing feels amazing. And obviously the numbers are, are very, very manageable. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a hybrid that I'm going to yeah. be able to put a ton of people yeah. into. And as it's we mentioned, really there's good. my math, six different lofts. Yes. Yes. Two through seven hybrid, yeah. but then 17 degrees up to 34 degrees. And with all the adjustability, and I the can make it 35 and a half if right. I need to. Right. right? So, so you can, you can yeah. more or less get any loft that you want. Pretty much, yes. Throughout 17, well, really, what, 15 and a half or 16, all the way up to about 35 and a half. Yep. You can go down. That's, I mean, 19 degrees of player there that you could, that's, in theory, someone could go and grab five of these, put them in the bag, and it would work beautifully. Absolutely. Yeah. So absolutely. great testing here. This and is tremendous. Good. Consistency is the theme of G430, and it, it showed is. up again here with the It sure did. Um, they got, a, I think, I think they've got a winner on their hands, uh, mm -hmm. which absolutely we expected. Right. You know, they've had uh, their two year life cycle gives them yep. a little bit more time to, to really come out with precisely what they're yeah. looking for. The technology changes that they've made obviously are paying off. Right. Um, and that's the thing I really like about Ping is they, they don't just, I guess they're not, they're not out there releasing clubs just to release clubs. No. The I-210 is a perfect example. Like that was out for four or five years mm -hmm. as their kind of player's cavity model. And they didn't release a new one until the end of 2022 here. I think it was, you know, and they, they do that because they're making sure that the clubs, that the products they release really do help players. This is G430 series looks like another one. Do you remember when it, when they released the, I believe it was the 410 LST? Yeah. They actually. They delayed they, it. They delayed it. it. Yeah. yeah. Because they determined that there just wasn't enough difference mm -hmm. between the 410 and the 400 LST models yep. to make it worth bringing out into the, yep. you know, into the market. I do remember that. So, um, you know, that, that's, that's good. That's good business right mm -hmm. there. That's, we're not going to just repackage something and, and yeah. try and sell it to you. If we're, if we're not going to bring it out unless it's yeah. actually better. Right. Um, this is better. Mm -hmm. the, uh, straight up, this is better. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Kevin, the testing complete there, G430 hybrid. Uh, we really impressed with, with oh, that testing. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Yeah. Really mm -hmm. good. Yeah, I yeah. think we saw really good consistency on the spin. Um, and I mean, your dispersion looks this person's good. really good. That one out to the right. I mean, how could you? I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's that golf is hard. 
I don't know. I don't know if anybody's noticed that golf is hard. Um, <laughs> but I've no, been I at it for it, over 40 years, and I think yeah. if I've learned anything, it's that golf is hard. Yeah, so, I mean, those other four shots were okay. Yeah, they were. They're right. decent. Yeah. But uh, talk to me about G430 hybrids, and I think, I mean, in general, Ping's kind of going for the masses here. Talk about yeah. all the different lofts and all the variations with the hosel. You're kind of going for really any player out there that needs. Yeah, hundred percent. There's there's literally nobody that can't benefit from these. Yeah, absolutely, no doubt about it. A um, lot of technology in here. Um, I think their their new Red Bull technology that they've put into these, which is really giving it some wings. Yes. I mean, this this thing went a mile. Yeah. Like this thing just this is a five hybrid, and yeah. this thing just went a mile. It did. I mean, uh, you were kind of expecting as the five hybrid to fit into that one ninety. I've had a very hard time yeah. with five hybrids I've tested in the past getting. 200 yards out of it yeah. and from swing number one we were we were oh, well over well that. over that yeah. well over that so a lot of distance but it also provided stopping power and height that yes. you would still need out of that because it's not like it's like a low spinning chaser getting to no two, no 20 and, and you have to have that with mm -hmm. clubs that you're hitting into the greens you have to have that ability to stop the ball otherwise we're not doing yeah. we're not doing our customers any good mm -hmm. right so um plenty of trajectory great feel yeah absolutely great feel uh i am I am definitely, definitely thrilled with what yeah. I've seen and, yeah. and felt here. Awesome, yeah. and I was excited just watching you hit those shots. It's <laughs> it's fun, A, because of the way you respond and how excited you are about them, but then just the pure uh, you know, golf fan in me watching shot after shot go to the same spot yeah. with that's, the same numbers fun. is fun to watch. So golfers, the G430 hybrid, stamp of approval from Mr. Kevin Kraft here. Uh, come in and get fit at Second Swing in one of our stores. We'll get you set up with a G430 hybrid and you'll start those, those shots in between your irons and your fairy woods, get them dialed in with yep. G430 Hybrid here. Uh, Kevin, thank you for joining today, Absolutely. flying in during the winter storm here in the Twin <laughs> Cities and uh, providing your insight. I think the, the golfers really enjoy that. Very good. Yeah, fun stuff, man. Great.